Hey, welcome back. Um, this video, the second part about uh, active and passive sentences or voices, you can even call it that. Um, in this video, we're just going to continue. We're giving some examples of active and passive sentences with their tenses. Uh, the first one we say, once a week, Dave cleans the, the house. And the, the, the subject, remember, we say that uh, from active, active to passive, we just need to switch the subject and object, right? So subject and object are, are to be switched. Um, here we have Dave cleans the house. Cleans here is a simple present. That's what we got here. And in the passive, we're switching. So once we remain, this is not the problem. So the house, our object is the house. The house is cleaned by Dave. And we said in our previous video that Every time you build a passive, let me take it a, a different color. With a passive, you need a you need a verb to be, and we said that the verb to be will come in our sentence and take the tense in a, the tense in active. Okay, so he's gonna inherit this tense here. So to be in the present tense, same simple present it is, and then the our verb here are to. The verb to be conjugated is going to the third form, and the third form of clean is cleaned. So we have once a week the house is cleaned by the. And the lesson about that is that when we have a sentence in simple present active, but it is passive, is passive, bring you to the present perfect, and vice versa. You can see see uh, two errors here with different with direction back and forth. You know it means that these sentences are reversible. You can ever receive. You can ever have a, uh, a sentence in present perfect, and you know turn it to into a simple present. It means that that will be from passive to to active. In the second example, we have in Dave is writing. This is uh, the present continuous or progressive. Dave is writing a letter. So we bring in to be in our sentence in passive, and to be is going to be conjugated. In this term, it's going to have this term, this term, right? This tense here, and to be in present progressive is is being, and our verb right is going to the third form. I mean, the perfect of the verb. So that be when we when we switch subject and object, we will have a letter is being written by Dave right now. On by Dave can be left out, or you could say. A letter is being written right now. Okay, and see here, the present continuous or progressive, you know, brings us to present perfect continuous, and vice versa. Present perfect continuous, it can bring us back to the present continuous or progressive. And you can see we have here cleans is cleaned, and if you have is writing, I mean the simple present or the present perfect. Uh, continuous, you're gonna have the present perfect continuous. This is the same. The only difference here that we have in continuous in it. And the third example, Jazz repaired the car. And repaired here is a simple task. Okay, so we have in when we switch the subjects, subject and subject with the object, we have in the car and to be is gonna take this send this time this tense here. So to be in a perfect Simple past is was, and repair the third form of repair the perfect of repair of repaired is also repaired. And then we have in the car was repaired by jazz, and as you can see here, the simple past brings us to the past perfect, and vice versa. The past perfect can bring us back to the simple past. And the last example here, we have in B again coming in. So we have in, oh, sorry, B. I have to write B here. So we have in the kids were helping the man, and this is the past continuous or progressive. So we switch the sub subject and object. We have in the man, and B is taking this tense here, this this form right here. So B in this form here is was being, right? And because we having the singular subject here was being. And the verb had going to the third form was being helped. 
So it means that the past continuous or simple past continuous brings us to past perfect continuous. Okay. So this is amazing with English. I mean, the tenses can be can be written just by saying. So here, if you want to know what tense is this year, you have to you know to read what you see. Right? It's just like having with this language, what you see, what you see is what you got, what you got, what you see, something like that. It is here you got the present and the perfect, and here you got the present continuous and the perfect. And that's what we got there. And here you got the present and the ing form the continuous, right? Here we got the the simple past because that's not a problem. What do you got a past and perfect of the verb, and here we got a past perfect continuous. So then we got a past and continuous, and here we're gonna have the past, the past perfect and continuous. Okay, so this is uh, the first example in this uh, series. We're gonna continue in the next video with the present perfect itself, the past perfect. The future continues in other tenses. Okay, uh, the the future with the <clears throat> the future perfect with will. The future continues be going to, or the simple future be going to. The future perfect continues to continue be going to and and used to. And um, I mean, as much as possible to let you understand this topic right here. Okay, thank you for watching again. Until next time, bye. -bye. <laughs>